everyone. My name is Sarah and I'm one of the women on the Women Alive Australia team. Uh, Anastasia asked me to share my story with you, so here I am. Uh, I grew up in Mumbai. I come from a very uh, religious background. My family is uh, a very devout Catholic family, but not only was my family Catholic, uh, they were very charismatic. And that combination can be a very dangerous combination because sometimes I felt like my family, they were like over the top. And we, you know, we, we went to church every Sunday, we went for prayer meetings. And uh, by the time I was 16, I felt that I was, uh, I was way too cool for, for God and for spirituality. Now growing up, uh, one of the things I struggled with was my studies. All my siblings did brilliantly well in their studies and I could, I could barely pass an exam. And unfortunately, I attached my self-worth to my grades. And because my grades were not good, I thought I was not good enough. And that led to a cycle because every time I sat for an exam, I didn't do well. I just felt miserable about myself. And I remember this one time I had just passed my, uh, I finished my 11th standard exams and it was our summer break and my mom forced me to go for this prayer meeting. Very grudgingly, I dragged two friends along and we went. I had not planned anything for the day and we chose the best seats that day, which was right at the back where we could do whatever we wanted. And uh, they went on, um, nothing spectacular happened. Uh, towards uh, the third or fourth session, it was the afternoon time, there was this particular lady sitting in the congregation and she began to weep bitterly. And the person preaching began to explain how this person was experiencing the love of God and the Holy Spirit in a very deep way. And I looked at all of that and I thought to myself, yeah, whatever. I thought it was all fake. It never happened to me, so it can't be true. And a couple of minutes later, I made this prayer in my mind. I said, God, if you're so real, I won't get up from this chair till I experience you. And as I said those words, I was, sitting, I, saw, I was thinking to myself a couple of minutes later, the preacher says, all the young people stand up. We want to pray for you. And I was left in a dilemma because I just challenged God to show up. And at the same time, I had decided I wasn't going to get up until I experienced something. But uh, as providence would have it, the preacher happened to be my dad's friend. And I had been distracted the whole session. So um, I felt like I had no choice. He would probably tell on me. So I very unwillingly stood up. And as I stood up, I experienced the love, the compassion, and the mercy of God. I still find it hard to put in words uh, that experience, but this is what God made me realize in those moments. The first thing he showed me was that he loved me unconditionally. Until that point, I had heard a lot of times in church, people say, Jesus loves you, God loves you, and it was just this, phrase that in fact that I would get irritated with but that day that love became real to me and that was because not only did he show me that he loved me but he showed me and made me aware of how broken I was and how far I was from him and finally he showed me was that he had a plan and a purpose for my life for someone who grew up thinking that I was not going to amount to anything that was a very big revelation for me and I decided that day I said Lord if you can do something with my life here it is in Jeremiah 29 11 he says I know the plans I have for you plans for your welfare and not for your destruction to give you a future and a hope and that day he was calling me to the future and the hope he had for me after that experience, I began journeying with Jesus every day of my life. I began asking him about the little things and the big questions of life. And he led me on this beautiful journey. From being a student who struggled to pass my exams, I graduated uh, with a bachelor's degree from my university and I stood second from about 15 
thousand students and the story doesn't end there i still hated sitting for exams but as i was finishing my bachelor's i felt god lead me to do a master's degree and that's when i went on did a master's in history finished uh, my master's with a first class and i thought that was it i didn't want to study any more but then i felt god calling me again and this time to do a phd and that was not something that i could even comprehend for myself so it took about 2 years of struggling with the decision of whether i should even take that step but finally i said yes and he led me to come to new zealand to do my doctorate and again he led me in such beautiful ways in 2017 i graduated from victoria university with a phd in history and truly god showed me that he is the god of the impossible that there is nothing too difficult for him if you're just willing to partner with him in fact in fact after i finished my phd one of my examiners was so impressed with my work she offered me a publication deal and in 2018 i got published as an author with a leading academic publisher and that is amazing plans god has for you he has kept his promise to me in fact in in the bible he says what no eye has seen no human ear heard no human heart conceived i have prepared for those who love me and that is the plan he has for you too my journey with jesus has been an amazing one he has shown me time and again that if i am willing to let go of the lies that i have believed in and take hold of the truth of his word he will transform my life and he will transform your life my journey can be described as one where i have become more fully aware of who i truly am as pope john paul ii said i am not the sum of my weaknesses and failures but i am the sum of god's love for me and you are the sum of god's love for you so don't let your mistakes and your failures define you because your identity is that you are a child of the living god i remember a couple of years ago i was going through a very stressful situation and in the middle of that situation i forgot my identity i forgot who i was because i began to let those circumstances to define me and that day when i sat to pray it was so god reminded me of who i was and three words came to me daddy's little girl and with those three words he gave me a song and why should i fear
Yes, you can.